This is the 16th of August, 2017. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. And we're going to run some testing today. A small sample of ensiled citrus peel. Uh, it's come to us from the uh, Cook Manufacturing Company. We're testing this for uh, people at Agriconsa in Spain. This is our test area. Yeah, that's a twinch to us to see there. But uh, as you notice, everything around here is jammed to the gills. That is the screw department there in the background. And here we have an assortment of screw presses that are used uh, in various forms of uh, testing. The testing we're going to do today is with a press that's uh, buried way over here. This is the material we're going to uh, test. It looks like brown uh, peel from brown extractors, brown peel. Uh, it's um, uh, been uh, composted. And so this is to test what happens if you compost peel. If I squeeze it, yeah, I can get the liquid to squeeze out. This is the press we're going to use, a little laboratory CP4 press, motor, gearbox. The clever thing is we're just running it off an extension cord, 110 volts, and um, we have a unique VFD right here. Uh, it takes a 110 volt single phase in, and it puts out 220 volt three phase, so we can vary the speed of the screw press. If I turn it on, uh, hit forward, hit start, and there it's going. There you see the screw going inside the press. If we squeeze out liquid, it'll come through the screen. We have uh, air hoses here apply to apply pressure on the discharge. Okay, feeding in some material. You see how it feeds into the, into the press. This piece is a little big for a four inch press, but um, yeah, it's going. Okay, I'm going to have to run in that phone. I can do it from here. Now we'll start creating some back pressure. We measured the, uh, the refractometer, the bricks. We're at a little over 10 degrees bricks on the tank that we hope to get out of the field. Here you see some of the action. Uh, I've got the pressure set at 2 bar. And I can see the cone is opening. I thought maybe that'd be too much pressure. No, we're getting a good flow of fresh liquor. And um, inside the press, it looks like it's bridged. I'll have to fix that and get samples. Yes, I was right. It did uh, bridged in the inlet hopper. I'm getting a sample of fresh liquor. And uh, I've got enough cake here to get samples of that. So I'll stop this test so we can run another test with hydrated lime. Before I start lime addition, uh, it's worth noting that we got quite a bit of suspended fines in the press liquor. Those would have to be screened out, and normally when they're screened out, they're put back into the inlet of the screw press. Also, you can note the degree of shredding that occurred, uh, this material would not have to be shredded. It's weak enough that the screw press tears it up. Well, Jose Felicia will recognize this trick. We did it at his plant for the first time about 10 years ago. We've added 2 to 3% hydrated lime with a bit of water to this field. We'll see if we can get a chemical reaction to break down the pectins and release the moisture. And we uh, left this half an hour in the uh, cement mixer and if I squeeze it I don't get any uh, difference so I don't think uh, the hydrated lime has done anything and that was an excessive dose. We'll find out though. Okay, I'm starting to get some peel out. Close the cone, and we'll see what happens. Okay, look, it looks different. 
That is, uh, the press is spitting some. I don't remember that. The whole press liquor looks a little stronger to me. Cake. Uh, coming out all the way around the cone, I'm still at two bar pressure. And uh, it feeds pretty well on its own accord. Of course, the liming operation broke up some of these pieces of peel. Okay, we'll run our samples. Here's what it looks like when we've uh, run out of material and open. This is a peculiar cone on here, but um, anyway, interesting the way it comes out. The press will not empty itself out, but because it, it does have resistor teeth, multiple stages of compression. Okay, we're in the lab, uh, uh, getting samples uh, put in the oven. Uh, these are some old samples uh, from a prior test, but the thing I wanted to show you here's the peel as received without lime addition and here's the peel after we added the lime. I think you can see the color. Uh, we definitely got a reaction there. The color changed. Well that's the screen department but here's uh, what's going on in assembly uh, today. Um, we got a couple big presses we're supposed to be working on. Yeah, it will do to ship out this month. We may make it 24 inches for citrus. 